Hi, I'm Bernie Slavin and you're watching Butler Sports TV. Butler and welcome to Butler Sport TV's coverage of tonight's Wensleydale Creamery League Medal Shield Final. It's between Colburn Town and Hoyles United and is in fact a repeat of last year's final which finished in a 1-0 Colburn Town success. Hawes will be hoping it's a case of third time lucky, having been beaten here in the final for the last two seasons. And last year, of course, it was Colburn who beat them. Saturday's shock 2-1 defeat against Spennythorne and Harmby ended a run of seven consecutive victories. But that's only their third defeat of the season, and they'll be looking to bounce back tonight and lift the first trophy of the season. Fronts this season arrive on the back of a 21 match unbeaten run um, but there are only two defeats this season um, both happened at the hands of whores so they'll be looking for a little bit of revenge of their own tonight so this is the Wensleydale Creamery League medal shield final between Hoyles United and Colburn Town stay tuned for highlights to follow So it's going to be Hulls United in the blue kit attacking the goal to our left who are going to get us underway in this first half of this men, uh, Wednesday down medals league final. And that's an early free kick there to Colburn Town inside 25 seconds. It's actually McInerney plays it into the box. Stu Murray's on marks and he heads it. It's gone in off the crossbar. Colburn have the lead just a minute gone on the clock. It's 1-0 to Colburn. Stuart Murray there with the header. I think that's his 42nd goal of the season. He was unmarked from that free kick. It was a good ball into the box. And Colburn have got the perfect start here. Less than a minute played and it's 1-0 to Colburn. It's a free kick there from McInerney. It's a good ball into the box. But where was the Hawes marking? Uh, Murray there is left completely free. And someone who's got over 40 goals this season. He can't afford to do that. And that header there goes in off the underside of the crossbar. And it's an early lead for Colburn. And how can Hawes respond to that going behind? They need to uh, recover quickly here. That's a, a good ball played forward. Um, it's played through there. It's, uh, it's Steve Calvert. Can he get a shot away? It's a good run. Oh, he gets a shot there, but it's outside of his foot there. It curled away from the goal, but it's a good chance there for Hawes to, to get back into this game. That's a corner for Hawes. Played into the six-yard box. He's header there. I think it was Jonathan Champion, but it's gone over the top of the crossbar. And it remains 1-0 to Colburn. Here come Hawes again, they've been playing well since going behind. Can they get this equaliser? It's um, Steve Calvert again on the edge of the box. Plays it through. This time it's a shot from Lloyd Everson. Oh, it's deflected. Deflected there for a corner. It looked like it was going on target. But it's gone out for a corner instead. Now the ball's played into the box again from Hawes. Can they get a goal this time? It's a good punch clear there from Colburn goalkeeper David Mutt. But it's only half cleared. And the shot comes in again there from Calvert. And again it's gone wide. Can't quite find his range so far in this final. There's Adam Palmer there with a long ball over the top. Oh, it was left there by Sweeney. Here's Murray again. Can he get his shot away? He can. Oh, and it's gone in. It's 2-0. 13 minutes gone. Colburn have doubled their lead. It's Murray again with his second of the night. Maybe the goalkeeper there, um, Chris Harrison, could perhaps have done better. It was a long ball over the top there. And again, Hall's defence was nowhere. And Murray was given too much time and space. And a player of his quality, you can't afford to do that. 
No, it was a dummy there. I think it was from um, uh, from Tom Sweeney there. Murray's right right foot shot there first time. Bounced over the goalkeeper and it's 2-0. And it's 3-0 now. Coburn have scored again. It's Sweeney this time with the easy finish. And again, the Coburn defence has gone missing. That's two goals in a minute. This time it's Tom Sweeney. And that takes his tally on to 40 for the season as well. Again, it was a simple goal. Hall's defence is nowhere. And Sweeney doesn't miss those. It's a cool finish. And it's 3-0 and it already looks like it's game over. Now we come Hawes again. Down this right side. It's, uh, it's Craig Teasdale. Puts the ball into the box. Uh, it's only half cleared. Ball's there to um, it's Luke Hamilton. Plays it wide there. It's Mikey Brend. Can he beat his man? He can. Can he get the cross in? Plays across the six-yard box. Hamilton on. Oh, it's 4-0. 16 minutes gone. That's three goals in four minutes. And surely now Coleman have retained this cup. That was a well-worked goal. It was a good Colburn move. They've played well in this opening 15, 20 minutes here. 4-0 up. We would have thought that tonight, but they have. 4-0, and this is a good goal. Bren there gets past his man a little bit too easily. He looks up, and that's a good low cross into the six-yard box. And Hamilton there applies a finish. 4-0. Boys look a bit shell-shocked here, but can they try and maybe get a goal back before half-time? And shot, and he's in the box. I oh, stick onto the ball. Champion, oh, he's missed. We're about three yards out there, an open goal. That sort of sums up this first half for Hawes. It's a terrible miss there. It was a good effort actually from the edge of the box. I think it was from Calvert. Much there, tipped it onto the underside of the crossbar, but Champion surely had to score. He's gone over the top. There come Hawes again. Calvert's done well. Comes to Champion. Can he make it up? Oh, he's put, he's put, oh, he's put Calvert in, but much there. Quick reactions there. It's a good save at his feet. Keeps it at 4-0. Here come Colburn again in the in the middle of the park. It's Adam Palmer again, that's a long ball over the top. Oh, and it's found Rory Wallace. Can he get the finish? Oh, he can. It's 5 0 now. Another shambolic piece of defending from Hawes. And Colburn have taken full advantage. That's Rory Wallace with the goal. I believe it's his birthday tonight as well. A great way to celebrate for him. And a great way to celebrate for Colburn as well. 5 0, and that's the cup wrapped up inside half an hour. Another long ball over the top there that Hawes couldn't deal with. Uh, you know, Rory Wallace there got completely clear. Nobody near him. He takes his time, keeps his composure. And that's a nice cool finish. And that's 5 0. And surely now that's, that's the cup final over already. Hawes well, now looking for at least some consolation here before our time. They perhaps don't deserve to be 5 0 down, but they are. It's a shot there from distance there. It was Stuart Sunta. It's gone over the top. Still 5 0. Colburn are looking for uh, another goal before half time. That would really see it. That's a shot there from the edge of the box. With McInerney there, it's gone over the top. Dips over the bar. It's still 5 0. Here come Hawes again looking for a consolation at least, but they're not going to get one there. It's Calvert, who's probably been their most lively attacker in this first half, but can find no way through. Here's Calvert again. It's a good ball. It's a nice ball played back in. It's a crossing to the box from Everson, but again, it's off the target. They've had a lot of shots at goal of Hawes in this first half, but they can't find a goal at the moment. It remains 5 0. Hawes now throw the ball into the corner. Is that free kick? No, that's a half time whistle. It's a rather surprising half time score. It's Hawes United 0, Colvin Town 5. So it's Colburn now getting us underway in the second half. 5 0 to the good. Surely now it's going to be a, a tough second half this for Hawes. It's a corner in for swung into the box there. Champion couldn't quite go on the end of it. Oh, it's a wild shot there. It was Brett Calvert this time. Um, just puts the volley there high over the crossbar. The Hawes again. They've had a good start to the second half. The Santa there plays the ball through. Is that um, is Stephen Calvert again? This time, can he get the finish in? No, he can't. That's a weak effort, actually. Um, he's had a few chances tonight, but none of them have really tested David much. Here come Colburn again. It's Tom Sweeney on the edge of the box. Can he get his second goal? Oh, he's beating his man. Oh, but that was a quick piece of goalkeeper there from Chris Harrison. Dives at his feet, denies him a, a second goal and a six for Colburn on the night. Sweeney again, that's a nice ball through to Murray. Can he get his hat trick? Oh, he nearly did there. It was a good block, actually. Came in there, I think it was Martin Allen who got the block in to deny Murray his hat trick. 
Colgan again now on his uh, left hand side. That's a good cross into the box. Day, Mickey, oh, it was, it was Mikey Brenda with the header. And it's gone just past the far post. That could have been 6 0. The big chance. The long ball now played into the Colgan penalty area. It's flicked on. Oh, nobody can get a finish on it. And it's gone harmlessly past the post. That sort of sums up Hall's night. Oh, we'll play forward here. So he falls to Mickey Brend. It's a good shot. Oh, that's a great save there from Chris Harrison. He maybe could have done better with a couple of goals in the first half, but that's a good save. Keeps it at 5 0. Ken Hall's got the consolation in the second half. They perhaps deserve something. They played well in the second half. Can they get it off? Oh, Mutz was out quickly there, and that's a good save again by the Colvin goalkeeper. He's not had a lot to do, but everything he's had to do, he's done well. And that's the final whistle. It's finished here. Hall's United 0, Colvin Town 5. A rather more comfortable victory for Colburn than might have been expected. Uh, all the goals came in that first half. Uh, it was a, a devastating spell there from Colburn. And we'll get some reaction to follow. So that's one down, another three to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I thought the game today, uh, that's, I think we just, we went out from, from the word go, I think. And... Uh, they just couldn't respond to it. Simple as that. The tactics were right for us at the start. We were, we said uh, from the start we've got to go at them. From the word go, go at them, and it paid off. Simple. So you got a goal in the first minute as well with the touch. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a bit, a bit too early for my liking uh, because they had a bit of pressure for like the next ten minutes, but everything just seemed to go in. Simple. It was really, really good performance. Those three quick goals when they midway through the first half there sort of killed it off, really. Didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good finishes. Good finishes. I thought. Um, I just think they just couldn't. With Muzzer and Sweeney, I think every defence is there. Uh, a little bit, you know, they don't know how to take them because they are just really, really good players there. Uh, but they just didn't know how to respond to it. I think they've got over 80 goals now between them. Yeah, yeah, great partnership, really good partnership. It's hard because we've got a, a young lad on the bench there, he doesn't get a sniff and he's a really good player as well. But we've got Muzzer and Sweeney, so. Uh, we're on a good run. Uh, run. There's only one thing which I keep rubbing into him every game is complacency. I think if that creeps in, then but we've only won one thing now. We didn't win anything before tonight, so I think complacency was just the key thing for me to drum into them from the word go. I think today, obviously, in the second half, you didn't really show complacency, did you? You could have got a few more goals as well. Yeah, well, I said to him at half time, I said, look, 5 0 up, okay, it has to go back to 0 0. I said, uh, we were pushing on and pressing and pressing and pressing, which was our tactics. We didn't need to do that second half. If anything, they had to. So all we had to do was just just play it safe, just keep just keep the ball, and then just counter attack, which we, I thought we did all right. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take your chances, haven't we? And I don't think they did it. They had a couple of chances early on, they didn't take them, so we've got to be happy, haven't we? Five nil at half time, game over on it. Buzzing, buzzing. So, not the uh, result you're hoping for then tonight? No, just capitulate first 10 minutes, so not, not a lot you can do, really. I mean, we battled and showed what we're about for the remaining 80, but without consolation. I mean, you can't argue with the result, fair play to Colburn. So. When it was 1-0, you had quite a lot of possession and a couple of chances to maybe get back in the game, didn't you? And then... Well, myself personally, missing from two yards and then like blazing over with a header and that. But yeah, I mean, everything they went in first half, no arguments, you know, I'm not, it just wasn't, wasn't meant to be tonight, that was all. I'm quite 
I'm quite pleased that you film it so we can actually watch it back and just see exactly what went wrong because I've never never witnessed us doing anything like that before. So Yeah, I mean I think they scored three goals in about four minutes at one point. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, it's just one of those, isn't it? It's just a bad day. I mean I'm not as good as I was last year because I've had like a good two hours for it to settle in, so yeah, yeah. it's fair enough for it, yeah. But obviously, um, in the second half, at least uh, you know you sort of restored a bit of pride, really, didn't you, with uh, battling performance? What can you do when you're five 0 down at half time? You, you can't, you can't do any, a great deal, can you? I mean, you know, I mean, we just wanted to fight and just show why we're league champions and why we're still gunning for the title. And we've got a big deal school semi-final a week on Saturday. Still all to play for. I'd love Colburn in the final at Spennythorn just to exact a bit of revenge for this evening, like, but yeah, I mean, we're not going to give up this league title without a fight. We had a blip last last week, but you know, we go again onwards and upwards. Still in there fighting, that's amazing. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Yeah, um, I will just like to say, uh, I speak, you know, from all the balls and everyone. I wish Colburn a very best looking off Riding Cup final. I hope it's the last trophy they win this year. But <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers, Rick.